Interestingly, private companies, when I say private companies, I'm talking about Microsoft, I'm talking about Amazon, I'm talking about Meta. Um, have I missed one? I'm sure I've missed one. Meta, Amazon, Microsoft. Yeah, there's probably another one. They know that their future growth depends on a constant baseload of power which doesn't exist. So the Three Mile Island nuclear power plant in the US, which was due to be completely decommissioned, after the accident in the 70s, it went from two reactors down to one reactor, but even that one reactor was due to be shut down. Microsoft have stepped in, approached the energy company that manages Three Mile Island and says, we will buy X amount of power from you if you keep the nuclear power station running. So the power company is sweet. We don't have to like uh, spend all that time and money to decommission it. We can get it running again, even employ people. Uh, Oh, I know who the other person was, Bill Gates. Bill Gates has bought land somewhere to build a new nuclear power plant. Yes, so there's Microsoft. Amazon have purchased a data center that's right next to a nuclear power station. Not sure what Meta is doing, but they are doing something with nuclear power. And Bill Gates is now getting into nuclear power as well. Uh, a lot. So the tech companies are the ones signaling to everyone that it's now okay to get back into nuclear because we are dependent on everything they make. And if we want to continue using their trinkets to the expense of our happiness and um, personal relationships, subject for another podcast, we need to get with the program too. But, you know, this isn't now an ideological discussion. These tech companies are putting money into it because without nuclear power, they will not survive. They cannot run their empires. I'm sorry they can't. If anyone tells you this, it's bullshit. They cannot run their empires on wind and solar. If they could, the whole planet would be covered in windmills and solar panels, but they know they can't. 